So the upcoming Samsung Unpacked event will be on the 11th of February and we expect to see two big things. The Galaxy S20 family, previously known as Galaxy S11, and another device from Samsung, which is a sub $1000 foldable that looks like a flip phone. It won't have the best specs, but there should be a layer of flexible glass on the screen for more protection. Samsung would call it Galaxy Z Flip, which is good since that isn't the successor to the original Galaxy Fold. But why the Z? Why not just call it Galaxy Flip? We might have an explanation, but please prepare some salt because Max Weinbach found this on Reddit. Things you find on Reddit these days, man. Samsung Galaxy Z, what looks like a tablet with two hinges that fold in opposite directions so that you can use the device as a large tablet with three displays, as a smaller tablet with only two, or as a very fat phone. These pictures are of a prototype from TCL that Jessica Dolcourt covered, link in the description. This leaked picture shows the computer running on Samsung DeX, but why would they have a random image open like this. If this is not fake, then it suggests the Z Flip is like a spin-off to the big Z. Now let's talk about the Galaxy S20 family. We have some leaked specs by Ishan Agrawal. The specs are for the 5G variants of these phones. I'm not sure if the 4G variants of the S20 and the S20 Plus will differ in any way though. And by the way, the S20 Ultra will only have a 5G variant. But that won't be a problem since it will be backwards compatible with 4G and 3G networks. The successor to the Galaxy S10e now has a more premium name just Galaxy S20, has a larger screen with 2K resolution, and thankfully it still has the micro SD card because there were some pretty disappointing rumors but they quickly corrected themselves. It's basically the same thing now as the S20 Plus except the screen size, the larger battery to go with it, and some minor camera features. I'm not sure how all this is gonna impact the price, but if they can get the S20 to compete with the iPhone 11, it will literally destroy it. Minus of course the fact that they're using the Exynos 990 with all these phones in Europe and some Asian markets. We'll have to wait and see how they perform compared to the Snapdragon 865 variants. Also, some rumors suggest all Galaxy S20 variants will have at least 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM with an optional 16 gigs of RAM for the Ultra? Okay, wow. All phones will have the 120Hz refresh rate display. Bad news is, for some reason you won't be able to use it with the 2K resolution. You'll have to switch to 1080p in order to have the higher refresh rate. Otherwise, you'll only have the 60Hz option because there is no mention of 90Hz yet. Also, apparently Samsung decided to nerf the curved edges, as you can see here in this leaked video of the Galaxy S20 Plus by Max Weinbach. Maybe the S20 Ultra will keep the curved sides, maybe not, but now the S20 and the Plus will have almost flat screens. The devices will be so beautiful though, small punch hole for the selfie camera, small bezels, and the back camera array looks okay if you ignore the bump. The S20 and the Plus will have almost the same setup, 12 megapixel main shooter, 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 64 megapixel telephoto lens with 3 times optical zoom, and the Plus will have an additional time of flight sensor. Apparently you'll have the option to record 8K 30fps with the S20 and the Plus. But the thing is, the main shooters are only 12 megapixels, which don't allow for true 8K recording. You'll need at least 33 megapixels for that. So you might be able to record through this 64 megapixel telephoto lens, or just upscale videos from the main lens to 8K, but that isn't true 8K. What really has the option for true 8K through the main lens is the Ultra. 108 megapixels, and as we explained before, these pixels can be binned together in a 9 to 1 ratio resulting in 12 megapixels with the largest pixel size ever on a smartphone, and that allows for much better low light shots with less noise. The ultra wide camera will be similar to the 12 megapixel camera of the S20 and the Plus, and the telephoto camera is a 48 megapixel periscope system that can do 5 times optical, 10 times hybrid, and 100 times digital zoom. Here's an example of a 50 time digital zoom shot so that I can have a better idea of what the 100 times is gonna be like. The selfie camera of the Ultra will be a 40 megapixel shooter. Ice leaked its model number. The initial pixel size is gonna be 0.7 microns, which is too small for low light conditions, which is why there will be 4 to 1 pixel binning to give results similar to what a pixel size of 1.4 microns will give. Ishan also shared this picture of what he thinks the camera layout of the Ultra will look like. Looks like there will be a dual tone finish here, which could make it look better depending on how the final execution will be. It looks good on the Huawei P40 Pro for example. And by the way, these are the official renders of the P40 Pro that will be unveiled in March. I'll keep you updated on these phones, so consider subscribing with notifications on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.